Hello guys and welcome to Arm Wrestling Noobs. Before we go ahead and get started, let's watch the tip of the week. Harder, motherfucker. Ah! Yes! I think March is a month of comebacks. This week we saw Denis Siplenkov getting back to elite level shape by doing seated curls with 100 kg. Vitaly did these curls with 90 kg weight. So Dennis is already there. <coughs> Igor Mazurenko uploaded a video of Oleg Petrenko who is a contestant of top 8 95 kg class. The main takeaways of this video were the weight he moved in the gym was more than Andre Pushkar and comparable to Dmitry Trubin. The other thing is that these guys have local sponsors over there which is amazing. And Ryan Bowen explained how little money his YouTube channel made him in the early days and what kind of hardships he had to face. I was when I was building my YouTube channel the worst moment for me in any sort of podcast interview. Uh, I I I was so grateful for for Michael Todd. We literally did the the interview three times. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't ask Michael to do this again. But he did. This is like this is super early. So he my YouTube channel was nothing. It was very little benefit for him to do that. So Michael, you're a good man. Thank you. His best four and a half years, my total revenue on YouTube was $34. And when I get it up to a, a decent amount of subscribers and I can, you know, I will be the first mother fluffer to be hiring a Eddie Hall style editor. I haven't monetized it anything like that. Uh, I probably should. I don't even know whether I'm at the threshold. Maybe I'm not even at the you threshold. Are, you just you just cracked over the thousand. Turn it on, Neil. Make some money. <laughs> he also talked about Jordan Davis and his own potential and where he sees himself in the next twenty years. The Jordan actually has the most potential out of any arm wrestler in Australia to become a legit elite. I can't help but think that he's going to be a hundred kilos someday. Just he's six foot four. Um, his current percentage body fat must be like five or six percent. It's mm. crazy lean. Um if he starts eating, puts on a little bit of fat and just gives his body permission to to grow, that's where he becomes the number one arm wrestler in Australia where a 100 kilo Jordan mm, I think walks all over everyone down here. I feel like I can beat Justin in all positions now, but I would love to get a crack at RBJ. But overall, I'm not afraid to say that I want to be the world champion for my weight category someday. And Ryan SP, I don't know why. but he changed his channel's name to Ryan SP's gym or something like that anyways monster michael todd was on his podcast this week he was asked about his nutrition his workout his preparations for wl601 and then ryan asked michael if he feels bad when he reads the hateful and disrespectful comments that he gets 24/7 from rob here he says he's been reading how much hate you get from devon fans wondering if it gets to you cuz they attack 24/7 and say some very uninformed things it hurts my feelings it does um cuz i mean i've dedicated my life to this sport i have an arm that has lost 19 and a half inches range of motion for my love of this sport you know what i mean um so when people say shit it hurts my feelings but i'm getting better at it like I used to on Instagram when they say negative shit, I would, you know, do three flip you off emojis <laughs> and now I'm like LOL God bless you with a heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? Like my wife and I don't go to concerts because I know someone's going to be disrespectful. I don't I have tournaments and sports bars, but I'm out of there by six o'clock, so I'm out of there before the drunks get there, right? 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 And that's some other shit that gets on my nerves. Oh, Devin's getting his hammer back. Devin had never had the open weight hammer, guys. He had that skinny guy 225 hammer. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? And these people are like, oh well, if you're a man enough, you do this. I'm like, dude, it's not. Oh, I didn't think I could beat him again. I wasn't risking my wife, my financial security, to give you guys another shot when he quit. You're calling me the quitter, but he quit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now they said, okay, Michael, you're the champ. It's cool, but we really want to find out what's happening. Here's another five grand. Me and Jerry are pulling again. He also talked about his live workout on WL's Facebook page. But I might be doing a live workout. On the WL wow. channel, that'd be cool. So it, it'd be the WL channel, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my channel. <laughs> so my channel, I get a lot of love. WL channel, ooh, <laughs> it 
in a live feed. <laughs> Pro Panja League, which is an arm wrestling league in India, uploaded an interview with Tridip, which is one of a kind video in India till date. We don't see these interview kind of videos in India, so this is appreciable. Or it's a big stage, which we have made, of course, for athletes. For example, sports minister Kiran Rijiju was there, and Vijender Singh was there, and many other people were there, the audience was there. In my opinion, the first time. इतना बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म और रेसलिंग को इंडिया में 